Introduction to the Partnership Board. Hi, I am Pete Moore and I am the Call Chairman of the Partnership Board. I work with Hal Barbama, the Head of Social Services, chairing the meeting. We have Partnership Board meetings four times a year and in this report I'm going to tell you what we did in 2008. The Partnership Board is made up of people with learning activities, family carers, professionals and community leaders. Our job is to oversee what's going on for people with learning difficulties in Norfolk and make sure that Valton People happens. Valton People was a government report written in 2001 and updated in 2008. The key things Valton People said were that people with learning difficulties should have the same rights as everyone else be included in the communities and have the same opportunities as everyone else. Let us see how the Partnership Board has helped to achieve this in 2008. Hello, my name is Jim Porter. In 2008, I was the part-time Partnership Board Coordinator and I was also Peter Moore's supporter. I'm going to talk to you about the Open Forum. One of the big things we did in 2008 was to start having open forums before the Partnership Board meetings. These are open sessions that anyone can come to and they can ask us questions. The forums have been really popular and people have said they feel listened to. There were lots of questions in 2008 about individual budgets and being in hospital. Personalisation. People having more choice and control over their lives. Hi, I'm Alice Jubilee. I'm the Person-Centred Planning Project Officer for Norfolk. 2008 has been a very busy year. We've been working with schools about making sure people's reviews are person-centred and have made a DVD with children's services about supporting young people as they leave school and become adults. We've been working with the library service to set up information centres in four libraries across Norfolk so anyone can find out more about person-centred planning. There are also five network groups across Norfolk that offer advice, support and training. Some people with learning difficulties now have their own personal budget to buy the support they need and choose. Housing. My name's Carol Andrews and I'm on the housing group. The housing group had a busy year updating their housing plan. They had a conference and talked to groups to get information. They talked to 185 people for their ask and listen research. Lots of people moved to new homes. Suffering Housing Trust helped 18 people to rent homes through the private sector leasing project and nine people bought their own homes with their home ownership project. The housing group also worked with People First of Norfolk to train 60 people on tenancy rights. 64 people who live in NHS homes started moving into their own homes and became tenants. Hi, I'm Marcia Derbyshire and I'm project manager for employment. There's lots of exciting news about employment. We got money to develop project search at Norfolk and Norwich University Hospital and we opened Whole Food Planet, a shop and a cafe in Norwich. We trained staff to be able to support people into employment and develop micro-enterprises. I'm Michael, I'm Michael. United Response now run the Williams Lee project providing employment in a factory. We identified some team leaders for the new support into employment team. We are a national pilot site for Getting a Life that supports young people with learning difficulties 
to get a life like any other, including getting a job. Food and Fitness Projects My name is Carl Jackson and I am the project manager for the Food and Fitness Project. The Food and Fitness Project is funded by the Big Lottery. The project delivers short courses throughout Norfolk to people with learning difficulties, family carers and paid staff. Hundreds of people have now learnt how to make healthy food choices and be more active. Six people with learning difficulties were recruited to work alongside me as co-trainers. The first of five locality-based food and fitness action groups was piloted in Norwich. It was run by people with learning difficulties for people with learning difficulties and is funded by the Sports Relief. The food and fitness team planned conferences and events for people with learning difficulties and sports providers in January 2009. Hi, I'm Bridget. And I'm Tristan. We're healthcare coordinators and we've been very busy helping people to get their health books and supporting everyone to understand how to use them. We've helped doctors and nurses and staff at local surgeries to get to know their patients who have learning difficulties. And we've encouraged GPs to offer people health checks. We asked people with learning difficulties how to make health services better for them and worked with the Norfolk and Norwich University Hospital to help make people stay in hospital easier. This included making a DVD called Top 10 Tips for Going into Hospital. Hello, it's Tristan again. Just to let you know that I'm now working at the Norfolk and Norwich University Hospital. My job is to help people with learning difficulties and their carers when they come into hospital. Please do give me a call if you want any support or advice. <laughs>